Let us worship the Lord together. Everyone, try to sing with us. Tell the Lord He has been faithful to you. Take time and honor Him. This is special honor to pray by the Lord in my Jesus' beginning worship singing. Let us worship together and give honor. Do something. Honor Him. All the goodness of God. One more time, tell me I love you. I love you, Lord.
We love the you, Lord. Father. All of you, we and everyone, you continue talking to thank you. Thank you for your kindness. Thank we you give you glory worship. in the thank name of Jesus. Amen, you. amen. We give you glory. Thank, thank you, you, Dr. Gail Kaiwa, for leading us in this worship. Uh, precious people of God, get your Bible. We are going to have a very, very good time. Uh, I'm going to go forth as the Spirit of the Lord leads me. Uh, well, with that, I want to welcome you in this service all of you are welcome in the name of jesus the son of the living god this is bishop leonard kaiwa here at world evangelism healing worship center in the great city of chicago world evangelism healing worship center uh, if you can get a bible and get also a notebook where you can write some things down as we go in the Word of God. Those who are watching us on Facebook, we want to let you know we love you. Uh, continue watching these uh, services on Facebook. We have a Facebook page, Bishop Leonard Kaiwa. So I wanted to welcome all of you. We thank you for so thousands who are part of these services. We really love you, and the, everybody, you just come the way you are. I know I have a lot of friends on Facebook, a lot of them, people from different countries, speaking different languages and of different religions. Uh, when you come in this service, or when you tune on, or when you turn on to watch these services, uh, we want you to feel at heaven, because we are going to give you information from this book, the Bible, which I really believe the information in here is the one which you need right away. So 
make sure I do that. Those who are in the city of Chicago, the great city of Chicago, uh, Can TV Channel 36, what a blessing that we are part, you are part of, we are part of your family. And I thank you, all of you, for the support you are giving to this church, to World Evangelism Healing Center. For, for all the support in prayer, in giving, every way you have supported us. I'm so grateful in the name of Jesus. And some of you, you have visited ministeringtogod.com and you have learned a lot of things on that side. Well, um, I'm going to get into the word of God. I'm going to get in the word of God. We are here uh, in Chicago at 2507 West 79th Street, Chicago, Illinois 60652. We have a morning service every Sunday at 10 a.m. Every Sunday here at 2507 West 79th Street, Chicago, Illinois 60652. We have this service and we invite you to be part of it. Okay, uh, let's get in the wide as the Spirit of the Lord leads us. Now, precious people of God, I've been talking about Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Uh, it's very, very important that we get to know him. We get to know Jesus, Jesus Christ. He said something very interesting in the book of Matthew, chapter 11. Dr. Geokaiwa, read for us beginning with verse 28. Matthew 11, beginning with verse 28. And he made this call to all of us. What you are about to hear being read is a call by the Lord Jesus to each one of us. Okay, go ahead, please, and read that for us. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. What is interesting, Jesus says here, come to me, all of you who labor and are heavy laden. He made this call to each one of us. He called. He called. He said, come to me. Precious people of God, uh, with that very powerful call, it's very important to know who he is calling. And I want to let you know that this one who he is calling, according to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, he has been given all the authority. Matthew 28, verse 18. This is what Jesus said in verse 18. Read for us, Dr. Gail Kaiwa. Matthew 28. 28, verse number 18. Remember in it, yeah, Matthew eleven twenty-eight, 28, he said, come to me. And in Matthew 28, verse 18, this is what he says. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All Now, that was after he had resurrected from the dead. Precious people of God, you can imagine when somebody is talking to you who has been able to conquer death. So many have died, they have been buried, you can find their tomb somewhere in the cemetery or some bones somewhere. But Jesus' bones are not in the tomb. The tomb where Jesus was buried is empty. I mean, this is the one who is calling. The, the tomb where he was buried, it is empty precious now precious one it is empty it is empty we are, we, when you continue looking in the in, in the scriptures you, you are going to find that they were even trying to make sure it stays in the in, in the grave or to make sure that they they don't go wrong about it by anybody claiming that it rose from the dead when it comes to Jesus Christ, different from any other messenger, there are many messengers who came and said many things with messages to the people on the earth, but when it comes to Jesus, precious people of God, the tomb was empty. The tomb is empty. 
They, 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 they said, you know, the blood of Jesus and gave him permission. Read for us uh, John chapter number. Uh, went away. I, I want you to show something because some of them were trying to keep Jesus in the tomb. They were trying to, they went to Pilate and they said, this man, he said, he will raise from the dead. And they, they, they said, okay, maybe the way how we can keep him in the tomb is by putting some people to, to guard the tomb. They, they got an idea that maybe when, if we get some soldiers and we put them around in the tomb, that will kind of help so that nobody could ever say that Jesus rose from the dead. So they put some soldiers and they were there waiting, making sure that Jesus stays in the tomb and this very strong angel descended and moved the stone, the stone which was put at the tomb where Jesus was buried. This strong angel descended and moved it. The, the, the Bible says here that these gods, they shook, they shook like a dead man. They shook when that angel, you found that? When that angel descended and, and it moved it, they shook. And then the guards had to go in the town and tell them that, do you know, we couldn't keep this man in the tomb. He rose from the dead. Now, precious people of God, I was saying uh, in the book of Matthew, chapter 28. Let's go back to chapter 28 of the book of Matthew. Jesus comes and speaks to them when he had risen from the dead. The, this had a big implication for them. Uh, the fact that he could rise from the dead, they had seen him do many things. They had seen him raise Lazarus from the dead in the book of John chapter 11. Uh, Lazarus had died for, for four days and Jesus raised him from the dead. They, they had seen him cast out devils and demons by his word. He spoke and the devils had to obey. They left. They had seen all that. But they wondered what would become of him after they had seen him die on the cross. Precious people of God, he raises from the dead and then he appears uh, well, let, let me say something so that you may, you, you may get what I'm trying to say. Re read for us Matthew 27, beginning with verse uh, 42. Matthew, uh, verse 62, please. Matthew 27, verse 62. Since we are looking at Jesus, we want to know him. Who is this? We saying, come to me, all of you who labor and are heavy laden. He's calling. He's calling you. He's calling me. I don't know what you are dealing with, but Jesus says, you come to me. I will help you. I am the help. Precious people of God, and I want to let you know he is the true help. He is the true savior. He is the true redeemer. He is the, the, the true redemption from the Lord God Almighty. Read for us Matthew 27, beginning with verse 62. On the next day, which followed the day of preparation, the chief priests and Pharisees gather together to Pilate. They family. come to Pilate. They gather together. That is after Jesus had died on the cross. He died on the cross. They saw him die. Now they have come. Continue. Sir, we remember while he was still alive how that deceiver said after three days. I Did you hear that? They said we remember while he was still alive. He said after three days. Yes. I will rise. Now rise. Now, you see the words which they used because they didn't know who Jesus was. They, they, they lacked understanding of Jesus. They thought he was a mere man. They thought he was like a one of them. They didn't realize that what Jesus was was the second person of the Godhead. God putting on the body of a human being in order to redeem us out of his big love. Jesus came because God loves you. 
Jesus is a proof, is the real proof of God's love for each one of us. Thank God Jesus came. So these people said, yeah, he's a deceiver. Let, 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 let's do something. Could you reading and see what they, they did? Therefore command that the tomb be made secure until the third day. Did you hear that? Therefore command that the tomb be made secure until the third day. They knew that after three days the body would start to decompose. So they had an idea in their little heads. They said, okay, what we are going to do, this miracle worker, what we are going to do to this miracle worker whom we've been able to crucify on the cross, by, because, by the way, it so happened by the will of God. They did not even have power over him, them, him unless it was given to them by God in the heaven. They did it. He had the power to lay down his life and he had the power to take back his life. Amen. Precious people of God, I'm talking about Jesus Christ. And uh, my prayer is that all of you pay heed to what you are listening. You are listening to a man who was born in the nation of Uganda, which is Africa. I was born in Uganda. I spoke Luganda. I went to school there. I went to the college there. I went to the university there. And I went to the uh, primary school there. And then at a certain time, God had me come to America to preach the gospel, to speak from this platform. So I'm God sent to speak to you. Try your best to understand what I'm saying to you, precious one. So now they have said, at first they used the word deceiver. The reason why they are using it is because they cannot even imagine him rising from the dead after they had seen the crucifix, the, the, the nails, they had seen him pierced on the side, they had seen him die on the cross. They had seen before so many die on the cross and they never came back. So many. So now they are asking Pilate to command and put people to secure. Continue reading for us. Sir, we remember while he was... Therefore, read 64. Therefore, command. Please continue. Therefore, command. Therefore, yes. command that the tomb be made secure until the third day. Until the third day. Continue. And as his disciples come by night and steal him away and say to the people that he has risen from the dead. They knew that rising from the dead was a big deal, and it is. Precious people of God, it is. Without the resurrection from the dead, Christianity will be like any other religion. Where the founders came, they died, and they never rose from the dead. Without the resurrection of Jesus, we will be in a belief to nowhere. To nowhere, precious people of God. Because if the resurrection is not there, what next? But thank God, Jesus Christ rose from the dead. In fact, it says clearly in the book of John, chapter number 11, it said, I am the resurrection. They thought they had crucified the resurrection, but they were surprised. Continue reading. You are reading verse 64. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, and go, he has raised from the dead. And you see that part? So the last deception will be worse than the first. Do you hear that? They were already concerned about so many things he had said about himself. Jesus says, let me show you what he says. And, and it's good to believe this. Jesus says in the book of John chapter 14, beginning with verse number 1. Read for us John 14. Start with verse number 1. These are Jesus' words, precious people of God. This is Jesus speaking. This is himself, the resurrection, talking to you. This is the one who conquered death and hate, speaking. These are words of Jesus, and they need to be heeded too. This is not just a mere man talking to you, precious people of God. Read for us, beginning with verse number one, please. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in Did you see? He says, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God and also believe in me. 
precious people seated there are some of you who are yet to make a decision to have Jesus Christ in your life. Heed to these words because they are very serious words. He says, I don't want your heart to be troubled. Believe in God and also believe in me. We need to believe in him. He is a part of the Godhead. Jesus Christ is the second person of this Godhead. We have God the Father, we have God the Son, and we have God the Holy Spirit. Some argue and they say, well, um, we, 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 there is only one God. It's true. There is only one God with two personas in him. Jesus himself says, he who has seen the Father has seen, or seen the Son, he has seen the Father. They are so one that they are inseparable. Now, in the book where she is just reading, can you read it? Oh, Will you read John chapter 14 okay. and you go to verse number 2. Okay, verse 2. In my father's house so many mansions. He calls him a father. Continue. Yes. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. Yes. That where I am, there, there you may be all. He, he said those words. He says where he is, that's where you are going to be. It is Jesus who said those words. And when you go further, continue and read. And where I go, you know. Yes. And the way, you know. Yes. Continue. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am, I the, am way. the way. The Jesus is the only way. He says, I am the way. Continue. The truth, the and, truth the life. and the life. I'm, I'm just telling you the words of Jesus. The one whom we have just seen in the book of Matthew where they said, put a, a, a soldiers to guard the tomb. So, because he said he's going to rise from the dead after three days, so let his tomb be secured that he, nobody can even dare think about it. They, they, they thought they could stop what Jesus came to do. Jesus is a product of John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Read for us, uh, Ada Duncan, read John chapter 3, verse number 16, please. And everyone who is in the hearing of my voice, have your Bible, because we have to get this straight. What the world needs today is Jesus Christ. With Jesus, you win. With Jesus, you prevail. With Jesus, you conquer.